In my previous video on OS installation of Windows XP, we have learned how to partition the drives while formatting the PC. In this video, we will learn how to partition the drives after installation of the Windows XP. So let's get started. Step 1. If we go to my computers, we find the available drives on the hard disk. We are going to use the drive partition E to create the further partitions. Step 2. To create the partitions, right click on my computers icon on the desktop and click on manage option which will open computer management dialog box. Step 3. On the left side of the screen, you will find a storage drop down menu. Under this menu, click on disk management option. Here you can find all the drives on the hard disk. Note, you cannot delete or create partitions in the primary system partition which is the C drive because it contains your windows and system files. Step 4. So we will use the drive E for creating partitions. For the same, right click on the drive and select delete partition option. Then click yes to continue. After the deletion, free unallocated drive space is available for making new partitions or drives. Step 5. You can see that the deleted drive is not visible in my computers. To create the partition, right click on the unallocated space and click on the new partition option. On the wizard window, click next. Select primary partition option and then click next. Step 7. Type in the drive size in megabytes which is to be allocated to the new partition and click next. Assign the drive letter and click next. Step 8. Leave all the default settings and choose perform quick format option. And type in the name of the drive if you wish so and click next. Step 9. Click on the finished option to create the drive. The same procedure can be followed to create partitions in the remaining unallocated space. Now the creator drives are visible in the my computers. That's it for this tutorial. For more please visit www.letterslearn.in.